The fog is a great way to make your maps more immersive. I'm going to show you how I personally go about making fog. I've created this foresty map as an example. First, get the entity tool and place it in your map. Select it, hit Alt Enter and search for env underscore fog underscore controller. This is where we're going to change all of our fog settings. Set fog enable to yes. The reason this is off by default is because sometimes people want to trigger different types of fog for different locations. I'm going to set fog blend to no. This just blends the primary and secondary fog colors together. You can do whatever you want, but my fog colors are going to be the same. The primary fog will be the main color of your fog. You should try your very best to match it with the color of your skybox if you want it to blend in nicely. Personally for this map, I've made it grey, which doesn't completely match my skybox, but it looks nice in game. The start distance is where the fog starts, and the end distance is where the fog turns to 100% fog. So the areas between the start and end distance are where it gradually becomes more foggy. I'm going to set the start to 0 and the end to 620. This means that the player is always in some fog to an extent. The fog density changes how transparent the fog is, and the far Z click plane hides props and brushes when they're in the fog. So this is really good for performance because it won't render things that the player can't see. You just have to make sure that the distance of the far Z clip is higher than the fog end distance. And it's really important to make sure that your primary color blends in with your skybox if you're using this setting, otherwise the player can see things disappearing when they're too far away. Now hit F9, load into your map, and as you can see, my fog doesn't match the sky, but it actually looks quite nice, and the player's always in some kind of fog. 